After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock. My old enemy, the Panda King. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was gonna let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. All right, uh, <laughs> you see, you see that big ass panda floating? <laughs> that was great. He's still floating, I think. No, I think he's just standing there. Either that, or he has a really, really long robe. Hmm. All right, we all here. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! He's so at peace. Have you peace. ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kind of zenned out. Ah, uh, Mr. King, Honorable Panda King, we humbly wish to speak with you. He wants nothing to do with he us. He doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. God, that's going to suck, man. We have to do all this just to get up to him? Man, I miss the man. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Whew. All right, let's, let's just let's do it. I miss that van too. It's like the A team van. For those of you that don't know, which if you don't know, you probably live under a rock. Uh, these guys have a van called the Cooper van, and they just drive everywhere with that bitch. I love it, but it's gone. It's just gone, and it makes me sad. Well, yeah, it's gone. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Cause uh, I don't know. It's yeesh. You know what? Forget about the damn blisters. All right, let's just do this. All right. Yeah. Gotta love that ball form, baby. I broke something. And yeah, that stupid ass guard's gonna go check it out. Yes. You can come follow me. It's all good. No, seriously, dog. It's all good. You just you can come. You can come. In hell. We Funny thing is you got to get everyone up to him. Like, oh, well, I think everyone. Like it can't just be like a couple. Oh, I'm bouncing. I'm bouncing like a like a I don't know what I'm bouncing like. A ball. <laughs> okay. I'm in like a dodgeball. Penelope, well, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly can ah, I need more water. <laughs> yeah, I know. I always do that for some reason. Of if they spaced so far apart. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's uh, got to do with the ice. Okay. Uh -huh. 
So clearly, we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them. The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way uh -huh. to do it by hand. So, uh -huh. I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect. I'm in. That's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic moves. Uh huh. You horny little schoolgirl, you. All right. You know what? Let's just do this. So steer with the left analog stick. Okay. So accelerate like that. Okay. So your basic shit. All right. Oh my God. Aim correctly. Thank you. There we go. Let's see. Eh. Two more to go. That's not that hard. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. There you go, Sly. Hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. What the? It looks great. My pleasure. Really. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, Sly, uh -huh. isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sly is just so awkward right now. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. I'm doing it, babies. I'm making my way to some place. Hmm, I wonder, can I get on the rock? Nah, I'm not even gonna try it. <laughs> that would just be stupid of me. Because then I'd have to walk all the... Or try to jump all the way back, and it would really blow. I really don't want to try to do that. What? to take, like, a bunch of steps backward. Pinwheels. Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! <laughs> Pinwheel destabilization! And I'll throw you up there! Oh baby, I love you. <laughs> Check it out. Oh baby. Oh sly, I love you. <laughs> Banging. Is that it? Oh right, I gotta go do that other one. Catch me, baby. Sweet. I'm all done so that's up here. done. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. All right. So the guru is virtually useless here. <laughs> that's what I just noticed. Oh, I missed. Yay! All right, next one. I missed like a jackass. Yes. All right, just check this shit out. Like, it's just, it's just so weird. Those pit wheels are oh no! Wait. Guru, feel up for a challenge? Yeah. Yeah, Guru isn't useless. I thought he was. Then I thought about it. He's not useless here. He has shit to do, too. Let's do it. Uh, if you would be so kind of... There you go. Oh, I was about to say, these guys ain't got no money. They suck. Alright, so... Launch! Damn, that one's just... Okay, man. Bentley, this shit is just so random. How did you plan this? Strong work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. Hola, what the physics make no sense. 
But I don't care, because it's freaking awesome! I wish world- I, like, I really do wish the world worked like this. Random shit would go exactly as you planned. And this- this kind of crap would happen. Oh, it doesn't last that long. Here we go. Whee! Oh, okay, good. You don't have to get everyone up there. Thank God. Damn, look at him. He's just so zenned out. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve hmm. into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No, it'll require channeling. Hi, what a dog. Channeling. Sly, sit beside the panda king. The guru will bridge your minds. Uh, All right, cool. No. This is some creepy shit. <laughs> like... Like, no joke, I would not want my mind to be delved into this other guy's. Oh! Okay, I remember this part. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the Thievius Raccoonus? Whoa! This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why I remember. You care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow, you are a thief, just like me. Yeah, uh, this is the exact yeah, same dialogue from the first game when you fight the Panda King, you except Sly is completely disrespect. changed. To honor your Cooper ancestry. But these are the exact same lines that the Panda King said. The beauty of my new firework technique. Flame foo. Flame foo. Oh, I remember. It's so stupid. Booming right, I forgot. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. <laughs> I just find it funny because he always says like the type of ah snap out of it this is all in your head this is exactly how it was in the is clear the first game focused on your destruction except for these parts but the boss fight is pretty much the exact same idea all right uh you know how this will end i've already beat you once i can do it again i have never known defeat i Am unbeatable. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Give me five minutes. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. Oh my god. <laughs> look at this shit. Bro. <laughs> he sounded like he was throwing something up. Uh, this isn't from the best. Frustrated firework artists turn homicidal pyromaniac. Am I? Am I? Let us find out. Ah, hate this. Fiery wheel, booming chop. Fiery wheel. I swear, he he still looks just as jiggly. Only difference is that now he has more of a chin. <laughs> Everyone has a bit more of a chin in this game. In the last, like, two games. Maybe I should just we make him sad. You're, you're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you. And forever after, you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. Huh. And I've hated you. But that doesn't make any of this real. Years of past. Wait, so you tell me I could have just made him sad from the beginning? Come out of this trance. And it wouldn't have mattered. Let's meet each other as we are today and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. The hell does that mean? My mind is not always my own. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal wouldn't have been a bust. 
We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the northern mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. Sly Cooper and the gang in. A cold alliance. Damn, look at that. Just a big ass fat panda just looking at you. Jesus. I th I'm not gonna lie, I'd piss my pants. I'm not gonna lie. We, we all know that our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's dog, Jing King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sao. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy. He kicked a puppy? What the he shit? That is evil. Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully, with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, <laughs> more I love his hat. I want it. Together to steal a pair of twin keys look at the chins on the tiger. <laughs> the chins on the tigers, they just look great. They're just like, Arr. Here comes the crimson chin. Unusual radio signature. We can't cool. leave anything out to chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. Cool. <laughs> I think. Yeah, so that's, uh, ba 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 ba. That is, um, it for today. I, what the shit, you're gonna need a grapple cam to complete an upcoming job. Do I have money for the grapple cam? Just so I can buy it right now? Get it over with? I don't have shit. That blows. Alright, so I guess I can't do Bentley's job for now. So, yeah. I am done for today. Thank you guys for joining me today. And I'll try to get these parts up as soon as I can. Let's see. How long have I been recording? Because that would really depend. Let's see. A minute and... Oh, an <laughs> a minute. An hour and 21 minutes. So that's definitely 10 parts. Oh, wait, wait. The fuck am I saying? That, that's like nine parts. Eh, close enough, <laughs> I guess. Whatever. I might record more tomorrow. Anyway, so um, yeah. I will see you guys later. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, and uh, yeah, later.